Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. Today is Saturday and it's my day to post for the hashtag till death do us craft Halloween collaboration with my crafty crew. This is the card I'm going to be making today and it's using one of the acetate stenciled panels that I created in my recent video called acetate will it stencil and I'll have that listed downstairs. So these are the products that I'll be using. I've got the acetate panel with the beautiful stencil. You can see I've got that container of green sequins from my stash and this Happy Halloween is a metal. It's like um, it's like an ephemera piece, but it's it's metal and both of them are just from my stash. I also have a six by six piece of pattern paper from the vintage Halloween paper pad from Whimsy Stamps and I have a piece of green cardstock. I think it's from Stampin' Up. It's a million years old. It is cut down to five and a half by eleven and a half, scored at five and a quarter. Whew! So now I'm taking my acetate panel and you saw me go around all the edges and I scored probably at about quarter of an inch. I wasn't precise in my measurement, but you got to score it really well. And then you see that I'm also using my bone folder to burnish and secure those those fold lines those scored lines that become the fold lines because this is the part that's going to fold over onto the back of your for in my case it's going to be the the green and black striped pattern paper that's going to be the back of my infinity paper pouch so where the folds intersect at each corner it creates a little square I go around and I cut out those squares only because it helps the folds to lay down better you don't have to and I've seen people do it in different ways than, than I'm doing it here. They snip diagonally, whatever works for you. But I find that just snipping out those little, those little, those four little square corners helps my cards to lay down better. So once I have that folded down, that of course creates the pouch that will be my shaker. So I cut down the pattern paper just to size. I don't know what the sizes are. My measurements are not exact and um, I just slide it in there so that it fits and then I'm using double-sided tape this is I think it's eighth inch tape and it is from scrapbook.com it's very strong whatever adhesive you use you want to make sure that it's a strong adhesive because this is what's going to hold all of your shaker bits into your infinity shaker at least that's what I call it I don't know what other people call it I call it infinity okay so you go around you have to put adhesive, of course, on all four sides, but ultimate, or right now at this point, you only want it on three sides because that will create your shaker well so that you can put your bits down in there and you need that fourth side open so that that's where you pour your shaker bits in at. And you can see that I'm not being shy with this adhesive, right? You want these acetate sides to stay down securely. My acetate is, is actually fairly thick. It's thicker than some that I've used in the past. It's definitely thicker than packaging if you reuse packaging to make your shaker wells or if you use a baggie. I've seen that. My sweet friend Shell over at Scrap Secrets often uses a baggie to create her infinity shakers. And this is, of course, much thicker than, than a baggie. So I'm using lots of adhesive and I'm using the, my green shaker bits. You saw me pour them in and really like that. They kind of look like little baby spiders scurrying about inside the web. It's kind of creepy. But then I thought, oh my gosh, sparkle blends yet again to the rescue with these creepy little tick-like spiders from the spider silk blend. Now this blend came out in, I think it was August. And so I'll have that listed downstairs. But once I got those black spiders, I decided I needed more black. So I ran to my stash again and I have this container of sequins. They're 10 years old maybe. They're from Walmart, just different variety that I poured all together. It's beautiful in, in a jar. But I pulled out all these larger um, black ones, black sequins, and I thought they looked really good inside. So again, to the back. Lots and lots of tape securing that fourth side because now we want to make sure that the shaker bits that we've put inside don't come outside and then I just pull up all that release paper and ultimately I add a bunch more tape to the back because this is the pouch 
the, the shaker pouch and it gets the whole thing gets adhered to your card panel so I just want to make sure that this baby stays down I don't want any shaker bits coming out I don't want my panel coming off of my card base I want everything to be nice and secure maybe it's overkill on the tape I don't know but this is what I did <laughs> you do you and this works for me so I've got it all taped up and it shakes beautifully and I get it positioned and I lay it down onto my card base and it's actually a very simple card because there's a lot going on with that shaker pouch that glitter by itself boom in your face lots going on so I did not embellish this very much except with these spiders and then that little happy Halloween metal ephemera piece and I'm just using some glue this is my what is it called my best glue ever from scrap perfect and I just use it to adhere it down and that's all I did now I could have put like um, some what's it called like a monofilament on these spiders so that they could dangle and move I decided not to do that could have done some kind of fancy edges um, could have done some ink blending could have done a variety of things but again I just wanted to keep it simple and let that acetate panel be the star of the show and I think that it is and those shakers in the background again or the sequins in the background and the shakers they look like baby spiders scurrying around it's super creepy but it's a subtle creepy what do you think <laughs> look at them ooh ooh okay all right this is my card guys <laughs> super simple but I think very effective let me know what you think drop me a comment downstairs um, yeah, and I'll have everything linked and listed downstairs. Again, this is Saturday, and Saturday is my day to post for the hashtag Till Death Do Us Craft. Remember that we will be posting every day of the month of October. Use that hashtag to find all the other offerings from all my other crafty buddies and see what everybody's doing. Lots of Halloween inspiration out there, guys. So like, subscribe, comment, all the things. And for now, this is Nancy the Handy Scandy. Mwah. I'm out.